hello dear friends today we are going to see model number 7 b entitled karma written by khushwan singh khushwan singh as you know is well known indian english writer was born in 1915 at a place called haldi now this place is in pakistan he had to go through the horrors of partition you might have remember the stories of partition you might have seen the movie train to pakistan so all these uh, bad incidences happened in 1947 when the actual partition took place between india and pakistan hindustan divided into two nations one is india and another is pakistan in 1947 and then we actually became an independent country so many people from india went to pakistan many people from pakistan came to india permanently leaving their own places leaving their native places they migrated from one place to another and uh, at that time riots and uh, robberies and killings of people and rather many things just like a, um, a red agitation you can call it happened in that period khushwan singh was definitely an eye witness of all these incidences his novel train to pakistan reflects these horrors he has written a train to pakistan novel on his own experiences he experienced it during 1947 period He is a well-known Indian English writer, a versatile, you can call him, because his language, his uh, use of vocabulary, has always been a magnificent one. He has to his credit three collections of short stories and a few novels. He has won the Grove Pass Award for the best fiction from India. He was awarded Padma Bhushan in 1974. His stories and novels reflect Indian themes, life and time, and they are peopled by a great variety of Indians. if you see or read his other short stories and novels you will come to know that how much he reflected indian culture in his literary work and how his themes are different based on indian culture tradition rules and regulations and living style lifestyle of the people so all these things are decorated in his uh, novels as well as in his short stories karma here illustrates the fate of sir mohan lal mohan lal is a main character of this story and sir mohan lal sir is a, a reputationary 
टाइटल ही रिसीव ही ट्राइज टू ड्रेस लाइक इंग्लिश मैन लुक लाइक देम एंड स्पीक लाइक देम but he is an indian and he has black skin he cannot escape from his karma of being an indian and having black skin all of you know very well that indians are identified as blacks though any person is a too much white in it and living in india he is also considered as black so here mohan lal also belongs to india and that's why he is black but he tries to dress like english men tries to behave like them tries to accept <coughs> mannerisms of british people tries to speak english like british people so he cannot change his karma that he is indian the story karma is a criticism of snobbish indians snobbish indians who sometimes visited england lived there for years accepted the manners and all the customs of british people and came to india or return and tried to boast themselves as they are britishers but actually they are indians they just visited england accepted manners accepted the uh, stretch and intonation of their language and return to the their own country such people are snobbish peoples snobbish indians who try to boast themselves as they are britishers who look down upon their own countrymen they always try to look down their countrymen own countrymen and try to imitate english in everything person who is uh, living there in in england will definitely speak in english no doubt at all but if you come to your native place you have to speak in marathi or hindi language it is not necessary to boast all the time about the language which is not ours so the story is a satire on a snobbish a rich english educated mohan lal mohan lal is a, a rich person educated person took his education higher education i think in england and that much amount uh, his father spent on him definitely was a rich person so his uh, richness is shown here but at last of this story his karma destroyed him totally how he destroyed we will see in this story let us start the story in detail line by line please listen carefully so that you will understand the story properly sir mohan lal looked at himself in the mirror of a first class waiting room at the railway station you know very well that there is a railway station compartments for uh, waiting passengers first class waiting room is always there on every almost every each and every railway station so he is there mohan lal is there and looking 
in the mirror for the first class of the first class waiting room the mirror was obviously made in india here kushwan singh criticized indian productivity the mirror was obviously made in india the red oxide at its back had come off at several places and long lines of transparent glass cut across its surface transparent glass is there red oxide at the back of that glass which convert the glass into mirror has almost gone the glass itself is cut across its surface still monlal neglected all these features of that glass and uh, smiled at mirror with an air of pity and patronage he smiled at mirror with an air of pity and patronage he perhaps he himself said that there is too much too much better mirror in my house he said you are so very much like everything else in this country inefficient dirty and different he murmured he remarked on that mirror you are so very much like everything else in this country it means that everything else in this country is uh, inefficient dirty and different and the mirror smiled back at sir mohan it is a satire mirror smiled back at mohan it means that you are also belong to this country and that's why you are also inefficient dirty and indifferent you are a bit of all right old chap it said distinguished mirror said efficient even handsome that neatly trimmed mustache the suit from saville row with the carnation in the button hole the suit which he weared monlal weared is from saville row this is the place where the suits are prepared or sewed actually the area is in london saville row where suits are very famous with a carnation in a button hole carnation means a flower in a button hole button hole means a uh, suits button hole where you can put the flower of rose the aroma of your d colony aroma is strong smell of mm, gel or what we can see if we uh, use toilet flush material and we feel the smell of that material that kind of a smell was there on his body mohan lal's body Tarkam powder is also there, 
and scented soap all about you. Yes, old fellow, you are a bit of all right. Though you are old, definitely you are all right in the situation. So we can see all his appearance. Though he is an Indian, his appearance is like a Britisher. There is a suit on his body, there is an aroma. of nectar there is a talcum powder on his face there is a rose flower on his buttonhole and all his manners are British what will happen next we will see in my next video till then thank you